Hello everybody. So back again to this microwave kiln project. Uh, in my last video I make really simple made microwave kiln out from clay pot and conductive ink. And this microwave kiln works really really good. Uh, but today I will make another microwave kiln. This time I will also use some clay pot for the base construction material ceramic wool for the isolation but this time I will use another paint so I was thinking that I will construct the entire uh, microwave kiln uh, without the clay pot but sadly I running out from uh, ceramic wool uh, so that's why I also need to use this ceramic wool which I use in my last microwave kiln and the paint which I will use is this one so I call this a microwave uh, paint uh, so on this one the specialties are not the conductivity but this paint is really really good uh, microwave uh, absorption paint and yeah it's really really good uh, for making some microwave kilns out from this paint. In my last video when I make this really simple uh, microwave kiln out from conductive ink I was thinking if I can improve uh, this ink to make a really really good microwave absorption paint. And yeah I come up with this one so this one is really really liquided I also came with this one which is uh, more like jelly in jelly form but today I will use this paint okay and now I will coat the inner section of this clay pot to make some again really simple really easy uh, microwave kiln And that's it. Now I will dry this ink. Uh, then I will cover with this ceramic wool. And then I will test this paint. So here I have some ceramic wool for the bottom. And on the top I will put this one. Okay. And now I will run this microwave for 5 minutes on 800 watts. So the clay pot cracks. You see some cracking over here. Ow. So I will run this for a little bit longer. So you see the clay pot 
crack cracks all over the place but in basic the clay pot is still in one piece ah. you see Oh, it's hot. Really awesome. In the end, also this clay pot fall apart. So this paint have good uh, microwave absorption uh, and also I will show you the second good property of this paint is uh, when the temperature will higher I don't know 1000 degrees C or more so higher is the temperature more tough will be this paint and you will get a really really hard time to get this paint off So you see, you can repeat. So higher is the temperature, more strong will be also this paint. So before I start this video, I'll also make some tests. So this paint is this paint and this one was this gel like paint and yeah. So you see. This one is not so good like this. Oh, and this section is really, really hard to get off. 